there's two parts of that. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I appreciate that. The one side of that is I had peace when my dad passed. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was years after he got clean, he had gone to jail, he got out, he got clean. Um, but when he suddenly passed, I mean, out of nowhere, um, he ended up having some sort of rare infection that like, I, I won't go into the details, but um, so when he passed, I had peace that in those seasons when it was, when it was so hard, I still chose to love him the best way that I knew how. Um, while imperfect, I'm so glad that I did mm -hmm. because now I wouldn't, you know, I couldn't change that now, you know, whatever, if I would have just said, you know, the heck with you, I'm out. I would have used some other choice words uh, if I would have done that. Uh, but no, so I forgave him and I, I tried to rebuild that relationship. So I had peace there. And then the other one is that if this is, if I truly believe that this life is a gift, I want to play it, play it to win. Um, I think that Christians can sometimes, I'm not saying all, I'm just saying that sometimes uh, we could potentially be apathetic and just go, oh, well, why would I really do this or that if, you know, I'm going to be with God one day? Why would I try to work hard or uh, why would I try to make something or whatever that might be? And I think, man, I, if I've given, if I've been given this one life on this earth, uh, I think I want to do the very best that I can with it. I want to be the very best father that I can. I want to be the best husband that I can. I want to be the, like, the best version of me, just like you were saying, um, to the people around me. And I want to love them really well um, so that my funeral, like, you know, I don't really care what they say about me, um, but I, I guess I want to have peace when I'm gone, yeah. you know, like that, Hey, I did the best I could to love the person in front of me. Yep. So that makes so, so much sense. Um, I think you can tell a lot about, um, a person's viewpoint of the next life hmm. by how they live this one. Yeah. And if you're living for the eternal, you live this life a lot mm -hmm. differently than if you're living for the temporal. Um, there's a, uh, a pastor, Doug Weiss, who said um, in a program that I'm walking through right now, he said, you don't change your behavior based on what you think to be true. You do change your behavior on what you believe to be true. <laughs>